Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain, one of the most fascinating players that's ever been. He was my grandfather's favorite player, and he's the man who holds more NBA records than any other player in league history, and it's not even close. Chamberlain officially holds over 70 NBA records, and if blocks, steals, and offensive rebounds were accounted for in his era, he would hold so much more. He dominates the league's record book to such an extent that one of his many nicknames is in fact the record book. Basketball history as we know it has this man's face all over it. But what if he never existed? Now all of a sudden, many of your favorite players own the league records, and you may not have even known that they were on the list. I'm not going to look at all 70 plus records from Wilt, because I would like this video to not be an hour long, but I will take a look at 15 of his most noteworthy ones, starting with some of the most obvious ones. Number 1. Wilt Chamberlain holds the record for the most points scored in a single game with 100 in Hershey, Pennsylvania in 1962. This was the same season that Wilt averaged over 50 points a game, which of course we'll get into more later. Now, with Wilt no longer in the picture, Kobe Bryant takes the NBA record when he scored 81 points against the Raptors on January 22, 2006. He did it on 28 of 46 shooting, and the craziest part is that it isn't the only record he would own from that night. Number 2. Wilt scored 59 points in the second half of the 100-point game against the Knicks, but Kobe scored 55 points in the second half against the Raptors, which now is also an NBA record with Wilt out of the picture. Number 3. Wilt holds the record for the most points ever scored in a single game by a rookie. In January of 1960 against the Detroit Pistons, he dropped 58 points on 24 of 41 shooting and 10 of 13 from the free throw line. Fun fact, he also snagged 42 rebounds in this same game. Quite the first impression from a young Warriors center, which makes me think, Imagine if the Warriors rookie center James Wiseman had a game this upcoming season where he dropped 58 points and 42 rebounds. I can't even wrap my brain around that. Anyway, with Wilt now out of the equation, the rookie record goes to another Warriors player just five years later, when overlooked legend Rick Barry dropped 57 points against the Knicks in a four-point loss. He was 18 of 29 from the field and 21 of 22 from the free throw line. Number 4. Wilt holds the record for the most total points scored in a single season with 4,029, which was the same season he averaged 50.4 points. Now, the new record holder is the only man who's ever come within 1,000 points of Wilt's 1962 total, which was Michael Jordan in the 86-87 season, where he scored a total of 3,041 points. In case you're curious, Jordan averaged 37.1 points that season and finished second in the MVP voting. Number 5. Wilt Chamberlain holds the record for the most 50-point games. Over his career, he had a total of 118 games. This new record holder is also Michael Jordan, as he had a career total of 31 50-point games over the course of his career. Number 6. Wilt holds the record for the most 60-point games as well, with 32. That means Wilt has more 60-point games than Michael Jordan has 50-point games, which is pretty crazy. Regardless, the new record holder with Wilt no longer around is actually once again Kobe Bryant, who managed a total of 6 60-point games over the course of his career. Number 7. Wilt holds the record for the most 70-point games in league history with a total of 6 games. There are 5 other players who now share that record at one game apiece. Kobe Bryant, David Thompson, Elgin Baylor, David Robinson, and Devin Booker. Really quick, I want to make sure you understood what that meant. Wilt Chamberlain has more 70-point games than every other player in NBA history combined. If that stat doesn't make your brain go, then I don't know what will. Number 8. Wilt holds the record for the most field goals attempted in a game without a miss with 18. He also holds the second and third spot with 16 and 15. But now that he's been wiped from history, four players share that record at 14 shots, which are Thomas Bryant in 2018, Gary Payton in 1995, Billy McKinney in 1978, and Bailey Howell in 1965. Number 9. Wilt holds the record for the most rebounds in a single game with a ridiculous 55 and a 3 point loss against Bill Russell and the Celtics in 1960. The new record holding performance happened just a couple months later when Bill Russell secured 51 rebounds against the Syracuse Nationals in 1960. Although Wilt was often recognized as the rebounding king throughout the years, it was often a theme for Bill Russell to be not too far behind him. 
Number 10. Wilt holds the record for the most rebounds in a playoff game with a total of 41, which he accomplished against the Boston Celtics in 1967. Now the new record holder is his good friend and rival, Bill Russell, who managed to get 40 rebounds in a playoff game on three separate occasions. Number 11. Wilt holds the record for the most total rebounds in a single season with a total of 2,149, which he accomplished in 1961. Incredibly, Wilt holds the top seven seasons in NBA history for the most total rebounds. Now the new record holder is once again Bill Russell, who pulled down 1,930 boards in 1964. Number 12. Wilt holds the record for the highest points per game average for a single season. This came in his legendary 1962 season where he averaged 50.4 points. Now the new official record holder is Michael Jordan, who averaged 37.1 in 1987. Some of you may bring up Elgin Baylor's 1962 season where he averaged 38.3 points, but technically this season isn't recognized on most lists because he only played 48 games that season, and the minimum to be recognized is often 50 games. Number 13. Wilt has the highest scoring average in a single season by a rookie at 37.6 in 1960. The new record holder is a Hall of Famer who doesn't get talked about enough and may need his own video at some point. The 6'11 center Walt Bellamy averaged 31.6 points in his rookie season as a member of the Chicago Packers in 1962. Number 14. Wilt has the highest assist per game average in a single season by a center when he averaged 8.6 assists in 1968. Interestingly enough, the highest assist per game seasons by a center from someone not named Wilt Chamberlain was actually these past three seasons from the Joker, Nikola Jokic, who put up 7.3, 6.1, and 6. Number 15. Wilt holds the record for the most seasons leading the league in minutes per game with a total of nine seasons. This was a testament to his incredible conditioning and alien-like stamina. The new record holder is another guy who had a constant motor, and that's Philadelphia great Allen Iverson, who led the league in minutes per game a total of seven times. They basically stand alone in this area, as no one other than Wilt and Iverson have done it more than three times. These are just 15 of Wilt's records going elsewhere, but the list goes on and on. Let me know in the comments section which one of these you think is the most interesting. Also let me know which one of Wilt's 70 plus records do you think is the most unbreakable. Shout out to this cool person for suggesting this video. I would say your name, but I'm afraid I might butcher it since I don't know how to pronounce it. Thanks for watching as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more basketball content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.